The popular sci-fi drama Outlander has captured the attention of people all over the world, but there are some Outlander fans out there whose lives have changed forever because of it. Some fans actually devote many important moments in their lives to the show, like Haley Bupri, who moved to Scotland just because of Outlander. The 24-year-old from Connecticut loved the sci-fi drama so much that she moved to Scotland. Yes, apparently the show made her love for Scotland grow, and she went there to live her Outlander Dreams. Gabaldon wrote the book series that the Outlander TV show is based on. In fact, she's still writing the books in the series after a fairly big hiatus. She stayed there for quite some time to study the country's rich history. But because of the COVID-19 pandemic, she had to move back to America. Haley was devastated and felt like her dream was ripped away. And to make matters worse, she was camping in her parents' backyard. And then tragedy struck when her best friend passed away in a car accident. With Haley's life falling apart, it was her love for Outlander and the world that Diana Gabaldon had created that sustained her. She claimed that watching the show on those days was the only thing that made her safe and comfortable. Haley knew that she had to get back to Scotland if she was going to be happy. So she applied to the University of Aberdeenshire for her master's and then eventually continued her studies over there. But her real Outlander dream began when she got a job as a tour guide with Andy the Highlander. And then she ended up meeting the leading lady. Part of that uh, that battle scene, it does come down to uh, almost a, a very slow ballet. Katrina Balfe at the Scottish BAFTAs. Over there, she explained to the star how much her performance in Outlander meant to her and how she pretty much saved her life. She claimed that the show is magical in the way it teaches you about resilience. And another fan claimed that it taught her a lot about her own ancestry. Environmental specialist Lynn Kelly connected with her Scottish ancestry through Outlander. Lynn Kelly became a fan of the show after watching Men in Kilts and quickly grew interested in Scottish culture after it. The 59-year-old tried watching Outlander before, but just couldn't get into it. She got into it once again after watching Sam Hewen and Graham McTavish's show called Men in Kilts on Stars. And once she got on the Outlander bandwagon, she couldn't get off. This bit was actually in the very first things that I saw. I was actually in the back backstage area. Kelly explained that she didn't know about the actors before, but after watching the show, she was quickly hooked. She cited all the wonderful landscapes, the accents, the history that grabbed her attention the most. Kelly was interested in the show so much that she ended up learning Gaelic herself. She added that she also had Scottish ancestry and found herself going back to it as her love for the show grew. Interestingly enough, Kelly added that she also had a Scottish ancestor who had a Native American Cherokee wife. So so these episodes, where they showed Scottish immigrants interacting with the Cherokee tribe, really resonated with her. She claimed that learning Gaelic was proving to be really difficult for her, even though she had learned how to speak French and Spanish. But the love for the show kept her going. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jamie, have you no sense? Look what you've done to your auntie's skirt. It's all right, I don't mind. Well, I mind, Mrs. Crook. I'll take him back to the house for a bit of bread and honey. And she wasn't the only one who got into the show because of the history it depicted. Peter Walker's historian self was tickled while watching the historical drama. The hotelier from Aberdeenshire felt that the show was quite accurate in its portrayal of Scotland and its rich past. Peter had been aware of the show for the longest time, but was pushed by his sister-in-law to watch it. And when he finally began watching on his iPad, he couldn't put it down and basically binged it. Peter's also a historian, so seeing how the Jacobite uprising was shown in the series really impressed him. He added that it's the closest thing to reality that's being shown on TV at the moment. While speaking about how the show changed his life, he claimed that it made him find out more about the hotel he ran. Basically, his hotel had a long Jacobite history because the family lived there for a long time. So then, he decided to give the hotel an outlander theme, which was great for commercial value of the hotel. He explained that it made him feel proud of his Scottish heritage and made him feel closer to it. And for one fan, it revealed some Scottish heritage that was previously hidden. Linda Kidwell discovered she had a lot more Scottish blood in her than she previously thought. The university accounting professor from Florida realized through her love for Outlander, she actually had Scottish ancestry. She claimed she was fairly late to the Outlander fan train, but then she began watching the show with her husband. I should go get Ian. You should know what's going on. I'll not tell him anything and neither will you. No point in worrying the man. 
and by the second season, she was a complete Outlander convert. She even began reading the books and was completely hooked and couldn't get enough. Kidwell added that it had been a long time since a book had such a hold on her. She claimed that she felt such an emotional connection to the Outlander books. And then, when she couldn't get enough of the Outlander world, she was curious to see if there was any Scottish blood in her. And was she surprised to find out that she actually did have a Scottish ancestor? And so the show brought her closer to Scotland than she had previously thought. And with Outlander ending after season 8, there are many who are wondering if the story will continue. Well, Sam Hewen just confirmed a wild fan theory related to that. <sighs> Jenny. Give me a start. After it was just announced that season 8 will be the last season we'll see Jamie and Claire's love story unfold on screen, fans were devastated. But Sam Hewen might have just confirmed that the story might continue even after the show ends. Hewen responded to a wild fan theory on Twitter that claimed even though the TV production will end after season 8, Diana's 10th book will keep the story going. And well, Sam didn't confirm or deny the statement. He simply responded with a praise hands emoji. Now, we're not a emoji analysts or experts, but we're pretty sure that's a positive sign that we'll get to see Claire and Jamie's love story continue. Another fan added a potential theory under Sam's tweet. He claimed that instead of a TV production, we could get movies for book 9 or 10. And well, Sam didn't really respond to that, but Katrina was asked about the same thing earlier in an interview, and she didn't give a clear answer. And if your life is a suitable exchange for my honor, tell me why my honor is not a suitable exchange for your life. Are you telling me that I may not love you as much as you love me? Because if you are, Jamie, please, I'll tell you right now, it's not true. She simply said that Claire and Jamie will have their Romeo and Juliet moment, and that's how she sees it all ending. But with the show finally ending, there are many from the Outlander cast who have mixed reactions to that news. Outlander alum Ed Spilliers had an interesting reaction to season 8's renewal news. Spilliers was quite proud of the news that Outlander was getting another season, as he stated that it was a whole lot of Outlander. While speaking to the press ahead of U season 4, Spilliers was asked about the recent news of Outlander getting one last season. I missed you, Sassanak. I must have you. <laughs> Was. Now. Hey. Spilliers shared his excitement for the show and added that the world is always a better place with more Outlander in it. Spilliers also opened up about his love for the show and how it presented him with so many wonderful career opportunities. Spilliers revealed that he had an amazing time with all the cast and crew members on the show and wouldn't replace it for anything else. Rihanna. He was definitely sad to see it all in. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Outlander fans? See you in the next one.